candidates are expected to have a thorough understanding of the syllabus details outlined in the accompanying figure. Electromagnetic induction. Electromagnetic induction is the process that the EMF or current or voltage is induced in the conductor when it interacts with a changing magnetic field. Electromagnetic induction in a conductor wire. When a wire moves upward through the magnetic field and stops, it induces current in the wire. This induced current causes an induced EMF in the wire. The needle of the ammeter deflects to the left and then return to zero. This is because the induced current becomes zero when the wire stops. When a wire moves downward through the magnetic field and stops, the needle of the ammeter deflects to the right and then returns to zero. Exchanging the poles of the magnet changes the direction of the magnetic field. When the wire moves upward through the reversed magnetic field and stops, the needle of the ammeter deflects to the right and then returns to zero. Conversely, when the wire moves downward through the magnetic field and stops, the needle of the ammeter deflects to the left and then returns to zero. When the wire moves parallel to the magnetic field, it does not induce any current. So, the needle of the ammeter do not deflect. When the wire moves upward and downward at an angle through the magnetic field and then stops, it causes the needle to deflect to the right and then to the left and returns to zero. When the wire moves upward and downward at a right angle through the magnetic field with the same speed as before, it causes the greater deflection of the needle to the right and left and then returns to zero. We can be concluded as When a conductor wire moves to interact with the magnetic field, causing the induced current in the wire, which also causes the induced EMF or voltage. The direction of induced current can be reversed by Reversing the moving direction of wire Reversing the direction of magnetic field If the moving direction of wire and the direction of magnetic field are reversed at the same time, so the direction of induced current remains the same. Know the induced current when the wire moves parallel to the magnetic field. Maximum induced current when the wire moves to interact at right angle to the magnetic field. We can determine the direction of the induced current using the Fleming right hand rule. The thumb indicates the direction of force or the moving direction of the wire. The index finger indicates the direction of magnetic field. The middle finger indicates the direction of current. Three fingers must be perpendicular each other. The induced current can be increased by increasing the magnetic field strength, moving the conductor wire faster through the magnetic field, increasing the length of the conductor wire that interacts with magnetic field by adding more loops. Electromagnetic induction in a solenoid. When a north pole of the magnet moves into the solenoid and stops, the needle of the galvanometer deflects to the right and then returns to zero. This generates the induced current in the solenoid, which induces an induced EMF in the wire. When a north pole of the magnet moves away from the solenoid at the same speed, the needle of the galvanometer deflects to the left and then returns to zero. When a south pole of a magnet moves into the solenoid and stops, the needle of the galvanometer deflects to the left and returns to zero. When a south pole of a magnet moves away from the solenoid at a greater speed than it moves into the solenoid, the needle deflects to the right with a greater deflection and then returns to zero. This means that the induced current increases as the magnet moves faster. When the number of turns in the solenoid increases, and a north pole of the magnet moves into the solenoid, the deflection of the needle is greater to the right. This means that the induced current increases as the number of turns in the solenoid increase. When the stronger magnet moves into the solenoid at the same speed as before and stops, the deflection of needle is greater to the left. This means that the induced current increases as the magnetic field strength increases. The stronger magnet the stronger magnetic field strength. 
we can conclude the electromagnetic induction in a solenoid or coil as. When a magnet moves into or away from the solenoid, the magnetic field of the magnet interacts with the solenoid, causing the induced current, or EMF, or voltage to flow in the solenoid. The direction of the induced current in the solenoid creates a magnetic field that opposes the change in magnetic field of the magnet, resulting in a force exerted on the magnet in opposite the direction of its movement. This is known as Lenz's law, which states that the direction of induced EMF in a circuit always opposes the change in magnetic field that produced it. The left end of the solenoid becomes a north pole when the magnet moves into it, creating a repulsive force that opposes the magnet's motion. And the right end becomes a south pole. The right-hand grip rule determines the direction of the induced current, with the thumb pointing along the magnetic field, and the curled fingers indicating the direction of current's flow. When the magnet is pulled away from the solenoid, the left end of the solenoid becomes a south pole, creating an attractive force that pulls the magnet back. This change in magnetic field direction also causes the induced current to reverse its direction. The direction of the induced current, or EMF, in the solenoid can be reversed by reversing the direction of magnet's motion, reversing the polarity of the magnet. If a magnet and the solenoid are stationary, it causes no the induced current in the solenoid. The induced current, or EMF, can be increased by increasing the magnetic field strength, moving the magnet into or away faster, increasing the number of turn in the solenoid. When a magnet moves at constant speed to pass through a solenoid, it induces an increasing current and EMF until they reach a maximum when the magnet is entering the solenoid. Then, the induced current decreases to zero at the middle of the solenoid. The induced current then reverses direction, and then it increases to maximum again when the magnet exits the solenoid. The induced current then decreases to zero again as the magnet moves further away from the solenoid. The induced current is maximum when the magnet is entering the, this is because the magnetic field strength of the magnet is strongest at the poles. The induced current is zero when the magnet is at the middle of the solenoid. This occurs because the currents induced on both sides of the solenoid are equal and opposite in direction, cancelling each other out. The induced current then reverses and increases to same maximum when the magnet exits the solenoid. This is because the magnetic field change is opposite as it enters and exits, causing the current to reverse. When a magnet drops at rest and passes through a solenoid, it induces an increasing current until they reach a maximum when the magnet is entering the solenoid. The induced current then decreases to zero at the middle of the solenoid. The induced current then reverses direction and then it increases to another maximum when the magnet exits the solenoid. It then decreases to zero again as the magnet moves further away from the solenoid. The induced current is maximum when the magnet is entering the solenoid. This is because the magnetic field strength of the magnet is strongest at the poles and its speed increases due to gravity. The induced current is zero when the magnet is at the middle of the solenoid. This occurs because the currents induced on both sides of the solenoid are equal and opposite in direction, cancelling each other out. The induced current then reverses and increases to another maximum when the magnet exits the solenoid. This is because the magnetic field change is opposite as it enters and exits, causing the current to reverse. The peak induced current at exit can be higher than at entry, this is because the speed of the magnet at exiting is more than at entering due to gravity. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would be grateful if you would subscribe, share, like and leave a positive comment. Your support will encourage me to create more content. Thank you.